has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hi, I'm Mr. Watchtower, host of this channel and host of Apostate Awake, the podcast. In this short video, I will be answering the question, what is an atheist? In order to answer this question, all we really need to know is, what is a theist? And therefore, what is theism? So let's have a little look at theism. Theism is the belief in the existence of a god or gods, especially belief in one god as a creator of the universe, intervening in it and sustaining a personal relationship with his creatures. This means a theist is someone who has belief in the existence of a god or gods. Atheism, or an atheist, is simply somebody who does not have belief in the existence of a god or gods. If a person or a thing or an organisation is political, it is into politics, it has political goals, political aims, political means. If someone or something or some organisation is apolitical, it is without political agenda, uninterested in politics. If something is symmetrical, it has symmetry. If something is asymmetrical, it is without symmetry. So likewise, theists or atheist believes in a god or gods. An atheist is without a belief in those gods. Now I happen to be in the same camp as Sam Harris and Neil deGrasse Tyson on this issue. Stating that you are an atheist does seem a little bit redundant because you are describing yourself as what you are not. You don't introduce yourself as, as not being a racist or not being a sexist or not being homophobic or not supporting a certain team. You describe yourself as the things that you are. It is for this reason that non-stamp collector is called non-stamp collector because it's a play on A.C. Grayling's explanation of the fact that people don't explain to everybody that they do not collect stamps because the hobby is stamp collecting. So if you decide you're a stamp collector and you tell people that you are a stamp collector, nobody else needs to explain that they are not a stamp collector. The reason I describe myself as an atheist is simply because there are so many theists out there that I converse with on a regular basis that I feel it important to state at what position I'm at before we even get into that. But in any other context, it would just seem ridiculous. So, with that in mind, atheism is simply without theism. An atheist is simply not a theist. And here's where the video should end. But there's a minor distinction that's very, very important. If atheism is without a belief in God or gods. That is it. Atheism is not the belief that there are no gods. I'm just going to state that one more time. Atheism is a lack of belief in God or gods. Atheism is not the belief that there are no gods. That should be fairly obvious, but it's something that I've had to correct many, many times, and it's something that people will continually be willingly ignorant about. The only thing two people need in common to be atheists is that they lack a belief in God and nothing else. As many people have pointed out, Stalin was an atheist. Yes, he was. But if we were to come across a tribe on an island, isolated from the outside world, and they had never come across a God concept of any sort, maybe they believe in the natural world like Mother Nature. If a theist was to bring their Bible or Quran or Torah to the island and speak to those people, they would explain what their position was on the God concept. And if the people on the island didn't really think that they'd brought enough evidence to prove that this God exists, they would say, no, I don't, I don't, really, don't really subscribe to that. They would also be atheists. Stalin, atheist. Isolated tribe, atheist. That's it. You don't need to believe in evolution. You don't need to believe, believe in the Big Bang concept. You don't need to support abortion. You don't need to be a secularist. You don't need to be a humanist. These are all separate labels. Atheism is almost a non-label. So there you go, small distinction, but a very important one. What is an atheist? It is a person who lacks a belief in a god or gods and nothing else. Okay, I hope that's cleared a few things up. Feel free to follow me at Apostate Awake. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Any questions, welcome in the comment section. 
If you like what you see in here and want to support the channel and Apostate Awake the podcast, feel free to go over to Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Apostate Awake. You can give as little as a dollar. Uh, Apostate Awake the podcast, incidentally, is also available on iTunes and Stitcher. Okay, I've been Mr. Watchtower, and as Godless Spellchecker would say, I think we've all learned something here today.